For the moment, they're only men to watch. Chris Hurdle and Linda Taylor Bethea from Mobile, Alabama, have been training at the Airbus factory in Hamburg for several weeks now. They're learning how an A320 is built step by step. It's their first time working on a plane. It's been a nice experience actually being able to see the aircraft go through all the different stations and then watching them fly off to the customer. That's been the best experience. Their future plant in Mobile, Alabama is still under construction. A320 assembly there is scheduled to begin next year. Airbus plans to create some 1,000 jobs at the new location. And since there is an A320 production plant operating in Hamburg, the company's American workers spend several months training there. I have built helicopters, uh, but very limited experience with airplanes. So I've been with uh, Airbus for a month and a half now and learning a lot as we go throughout the uh, process here. The completed A320s are made from a variety of individual components. They're all assembled here, including the plane's interiors. What we have to do is here, the installing from the headrest, installing from the loudspeakers, you can see the lights. The Hamburg plant rolls out 22 A320s every month, each costing over 70 million euros. An additional four a month will soon be leaving the Mobile plant. It will be the plane maker's fourth production location for its short to medium range passenger jet. The United States or North America is one of the three biggest markets for this category of aircraft, alongside Europe and Asia. Unfortunately, we're underrepresented there when it comes to market share. The market is still dominated by other manufacturers, and we hope our presence will win us a greater market share. The visiting engineers from Alabama still can't imagine building these jets back home. But there's plenty of time to learn. And they're sure that by 2015, they'll have the Mobile plant running just as smoothly as Hamburg.